Annie Henry was born in 1917 and moved to Long Island in the 1940s, and she spent most of her time here giving back to others. She did it until passing away last month. And now, in recognition of Black History Month, the community is remembering the pioneer who impacted thousands of people throughout her life. Liz Burke is live in Port Jeff Station with more. Liz. Known to many as the community grandmother, Annie Henry was a World War II veteran who devoted her life to helping others. She passed away on January 30th at the age of 104, leaving behind a remarkable legacy. I want her to be remembered as a lifelong advocate for all children, no matter race, creed, or color. Tamika Mendoza remembers her grandmother, Annie Henry, who broke barriers throughout her life. Henry joined the U.S. Women's Army Corps as a technician after the U.S. War Department allowed black women to join the military in the early 1940s. She met her husband, Vincent, while in the service. After being honorably discharged, they moved to Gordon Heights. She served as the local fire department's secretary treasurer for more than 30 years, led the Faith Baptist Church's after-school program in Corum, mentored local youth, served as a foster grandparent, and worked as a food service employee in the Longwood School District. Her daughter, Carmen, says her mother's upbringing had a strong influence on her life. She was brought up with her grandparents, both of them, and they instilled um, Christian values in her and also helping other people. Town of Brookhaven Supervisor Ed Romaine, who honored Henry with a proclamation in 2020 to celebrate her 103rd birthday, says in part, the passing of Annie Henry reminds me of the great value of a life well spent. Her love and dedication to family, community, church, and country was admired by all who knew her. She will be missed by those touched by her extraordinary personality and dedication to making life better for everyone. Henry's family hopes that the township will consider building a monument or naming a street in Annie's honor. Henry was born in Talladega, Alabama. While she faced racism during her life, her family says she did not focus on it. She just wanted to give back. All these other people come up to me and tell me stories about, you know, how my mother helped them when they didn't have any food or, if they didn't have anywhere to stay. Annie Henry's family has set up a GoFundMe page to raise money for the funeral. The wake and funeral services will be held Tuesday and Wednesday at OB Davis Funeral Home. In Port Jefferson Station, Liz Burke, News 12, Long Island.